hear that, at, uh, you know, yeah. as you're you sitting know, around fishing yeah. at and some chatting. Point, and, um, you know, and, and it's a point of interest, um, and um, um, it's just a reminder to us, too, that, um, you know, we're really indebted to oh, them yeah. on so many Absolutely. levels. Mm -hmm. And um, so this is just a great way to get out there and, and have some fun. And, um, um, you know, the, this is a story I just remembered. Um, <clears throat> Uh, and Andrew told me this. He said uh, he was walking out with these with two vets at the end of the day, and one of them says to the other, "He says, ah, you know, I haven't felt this good in years." And um, and he goes, uh, and, and this other fellow was missing a, a leg, and he goes, "Oh, your leg?" He goes, "No, my heart." Oh. Um, and that that yeah. really yeah. nails it, you that know. Does. Um, that does. And um, you know, every time I just think about, you know, for us, we joke around that. Um, we started this because we were looking for a good excuse to go fishing. I uh -huh. mean, the, uh -huh. right? Your wives can't complain. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're off the hook on this one. Yeah. Um, but then, um, you know, when you hear these stories, uh, are you, you, it just, you keep coming back for more. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah. Well, I can see that you're as impacted by the experiences you've had as probably if the vets were here themselves, that they've been, oh, and that you're, yeah. you're describing their yeah. being impacted, but um, you too have obviously yeah. been impacted. And it's, oh, it's yeah. interesting too, we try to do, it's more than just fishing now because we've taken them, we had uh, the Connecticut Defenders, the baseball team gave us tickets and we went up to see them. We got them to donate some tickets, so we took them to see that. The sighted um, or the blind? The sighted ones, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and also uh, Yale football has donated tickets for the last couple yeah. of years and we've been able to take them over the Yale Bowl to watch some football. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, well, then, it's... Then with the Blind Center, we, we did actually a trip to uh, the uh, Yale Museum of British Art. Mm -hmm. uh, it might surprise <laughs> you, but um, yeah. they actually have an outreach program um, f uh, for visually impaired, and they have some special instruments and tools and viewers, and that was, turned out to be a really good fit. And um, that that was an again an I opener. use that, uh, that, that uh, expression an eye opener. But remember that big, huge mu painting of the ship, and and um, and the docent was telling us how now this has a particular property where uh, you know if we if we close the blinds and take light away, that the picture actually gl starts glowing and comes mm -hmm. to life. And we thought, God, they'll never s notice this. And, you know, they close the window and, and they do it. And these guys wanted to see, that was so cool. Did you see that? You know, I, the, whatever, you know, they had, they could, they could mm -hmm. still they make that out. Happened. Yeah. Uh -huh. That was so exciting. Um, mm -hmm. Again, I, I would think I'd be terrified if I ever lost my sight. But, um, you know, just to see how they, deal with it um, and accept it and move forward and and uh, and take great pleasure and mm -hmm. and just a little thing I, you know it doesn't take that much effort mm -hmm. to get a bunch of people to go out and sit outside in nice weather and by the way we have so much luck knock on wood with good good weather good weather well I would take issue uh, with you in that um, I it, think it, it does take a lot of yeah, effort to put a program like this together and see it grow as you've been describing it so you need to take some credit I think for you know, it's fun for you. You get out fishing, but it also takes a lot of work. I'm well, you'll sure. have to come and join us, Stephanie, and then uh, you decide to, how yeah. much work, how hard it <laughs> well, is. Well, I don't. I've never fished. It's, again, so that's the point. You know, people, it's yeah. that's the beauty of it. There's uh -huh. so many levels to connect. It, it's uh -huh. it's really about the friendships, the relationships, uh -huh. um, having a conversation with somebody um, in in a place that they choose to be. Uh -huh. um, it's really makes a difference. Mm -hmm. So how many times do you take them out fishing a year? Last year we did 14 trips and we oh. took 551 vets out oh fishing. Gosh. But that was, that that was, was a little over the top. Limit, that's, yeah. That's, yeah. Uh -huh. So you must um, have a lot of volunteers helping we you do. on this? Oh, and, Not yeah. only the kids that you And you know what's nice too is there's something for everyone. People might say like you just said, well I don't fish. You know what? There's something for every volunteer. If you don't fish, we have people, as I said, some of the vets come down and they just want to sit and experience mm -hmm. nature. And they want someone to talk to. So we call it fellowship, and you know, just talking to the vets, mm -hmm. um, serving them food, cooking. When they come down, we set up a complete day for them. When they arrive in the morning, they usually arrive around nine, and we're there early setting up. We have coffee and bagels or coffee and donuts for them, and get them set up. We have all the chairs set up around the seawall or the lake wherever we're fishing, mm -hmm. and then we start fishing. Mm 
-hmm. We fish till about 12 noon, and then we serve them a barbecue lunch. While you're talking, I'm going to uh, ask uh, the studio pe people to put up some of the pictures of <clears throat> the days and, and, you know, things that you've brought. Mm -hmm. So then we serve them lunch and barbecue lunch, and they love it. And I, I always ask them, well, what could make it better? And they said, Jeff, as long as it's not served on a tray, it's wonderful. <laughs> right. Real food. <laughs> and the other nice thing that the instructors say that it's, it's wonderful, to, especially for the blind veterans, mm -hmm. they're very isolated, and they tend to you know, work with, within their unit. So for them to get out into the community with sighted people, mm -hmm. it's, it's excellent for them. Yeah. And we yeah. learn as much from them, more from them, than they could ever learn from us. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's just remarkable. We put more limitations on them than they actually oh, they are. Do, right. mm -hmm. um, Jeff, I know you brought in uh, a letter that you received um, from somebody, and maybe this. Oh, uh, we get we got tons of letters, and uh, uh, <clears throat> we we'll just read you one here. And, and this is um, uh, particularly poignant because this gentleman um, uh, just passed away recently, and he was um, he was actually director of, of one of the. Uh, Oh, uh, transitional, transitional housing. Thank you, Jeff. Um, and um, let's read it to you. Uh, my life was spared in Vietnam and a few times since then, and each time I've found myself in the role of helping folks. I'm sure that God has made my mission to do just that. Today I was at the Herrera Center, which is a VA center for homeless veterans. It's a, a wonderful daytime program uh, to help them get back on their feet. Uh, and I noticed the vet was down in spirits. He was one of those vets who has been uh, on one of your fishing trips. And during our conversation, he talked about the fish he caught uh, on one of those last trips. And the fish he caught on the trip before that. He said he was told there was a picture of him uh, on your church website. And knowing he had no immediate access to a computer, I went to your website and ran copies of the veteran outreach pages, which included a picture of him with the bluefish. And he lit up with joy, and I was sure that made his day. I'm saying all this mostly because I'm very pleased to know your church is doing a great job of supporting veterans in particular. It is such a warm feeling I get from the volunteers who present such a genuine concern for what they do. Whenever I have participated in your fishing trips, ball games, and spaghetti dinners, etc., I look forward to our continued connection, and God bless you all. Sergeant Willis Diggs, U.S. Army, retired. So... Um, you know, he, yeah, it's uh, a wonderful uh, expression of, of what he got. Yeah, know. and um, you know, we didn't know that uh, yeah, at the end of last summer that we wouldn't see him again this year. Yeah. Um, but it's nice to know that um, you know we made a, a, huge a difference. little difference. Yeah. And I, I know this is uh, you know heartfelt and yes, good to um, um, I'd like to mention um, something else. Uh, he brought up Vietnam, but. Uh, so we have a parade coming up for Memorial Day, yes. and we were invited to participate uh, last year for the first, right, in, that, for Memorial Day, yeah, and that turned into Veterans Day as well. And so, so now um, it's kind of fun. We have a, a pickup truck and a boat on a trailer, and uh, we've we've generally taken a few vets uh, from one of the uh, programs. In the Brantford parade. Yeah, the Brantford uh -huh. parade, and uh -huh. they go for a ride in the boat, and uh -huh. they just get such a warm welcome from from uh, from the citizens in the town they get applause they get salutes um, a lot of smiles and um, well so we one of the vets came uh, we saw him like the following week and and he he made a point to tell us that he had a really special place in, in his heart for Brantford and we we're like well, well you know why Brantford he goes well he said I, I got my welcome back from Vietnam there now uh, who, would have, many, right. who would have thought that 30 years later, mm -hmm. um, going for a ride in a boat on a trailer right. through right. Brantford, Connecticut, right. it's not his hometown, right. I think he was from Virginia, um, that that would do it. Yeah, well, while you're you talking, know. I'm going to show some more pictures, but, yeah. and, you know, I think that sort of um, epitomizes some of the spirit, not only that your program brings, but what we try to show and highlight here on this program in touch with Brantford, that Brantford really? c as yeah. a community has so many nonprofit groups such as yours that I forget which one of you said it, Jeff, you may have said it, that um, it gives as much back to the volunteers as or more than it gives to the people you're trying to serve, which obviously from your letter we can see that it gives a huge yeah. amount to. 
Yeah. So it's, you know, and that story of the, the parade is just... Um, yeah. yeah, it was touching. I, you know, I think one of the beautiful things here, it's, it's yeah. sort of like, it's like opening... Um, oh, let me yeah, tell you a quick okay. story here. So the gentleman on the left in the corner with the, the blue hat there, um, uh, I remember the first day that he came and he was very quiet. Um, and uh, I set him up with a rod and, and got him set up. And, you know, I wanted to sit down and start a conversation. And he mm -hmm. just turns to me and he said... I'd kind of like to be by myself. I said, that's fine, sure, just let me know if you need anything. And um, so he kept coming back and um, you know, he's in the area and he kept coming back and back. And then uh, the next year, one day he shows up and he is bouncing, he has a bounce in his step and a smile from ear to ear. And, um, and I, I walked up to him and I shook his hand, greeted him by name um, put my arm around his shoulder and I said, you know, I got to tell you a story. And I told him about the first day that I had met him. Uh -huh. And he goes, I remember that too. <laughs> and I said, You're, you look very different today. And he started telling me, looks me in the eye and, he's, and he says, yeah, you know, I, I don't know what it is, but, you know, uh, and you saw the fish that he caught yes, there. This was yeah, a, a big, big fish. One. He says, I don't know what it is, uh, but, you know, when I get a fish on my line and and I'm pulling, and it's like there's something that's coming through the line, and into the ride. It's just coming in my arms, and it just charges me up. I mean, it just yeah. gives me goosebumps right. every time I think of this. And, right. and and if you set out, Stephanie, to do this for somebody, like mm -hmm. to give them that kind of experience, right. or you know, people tell you that they've have some of the best memories of their lives, you couldn't come up with that scenario. You, it's, I don't know. Yeah. I couldn't, certainly. Right, right. And no, you here hit, it, somehow you hit on the And it the happens very every thing. single time, whether we, and, and in ways that we're continually surprised. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. I'm going to put, you know, while we still have a few minutes left, I'm going to um, put up some information for viewers um, so that they can help, you know, support this. It's Take a Vet Fishing. Um, the contact, um, if you have a computer, is J, uh, Jeff's uh, email. It's j.bugge, B-U-G-G-E-E, -E, at uh, sbcglobal.net. And as um, Jeff and Ray mentioned, is that of the First Congregational Church, um, which is 1009 Main Street in Brantford. Um, for those of you, hopefully, who might consider making a contribution to help um, Support the program, and if you want to write a check um, to take to um, the First Congregational Church, and on the memo line, if you put attention, take a vet fishing, it will go directly to support your program. And and are there other volunteers in town? Um, yeah, you other know, we, we, this is um, this is just a, a, uh, it's been wonderful how it's opened up to to so many people because mm -hmm. I think there's a really a reservoir of goodwill, and you see it in the parade. Mm -hmm. So many people want to participate. Come for a visit. Um, yeah. We've had um, so many folks stop by and see and, and been surprised. How can we find out when your days are, uh, when you've planned the next fishing in Brantford? Give uh, us they a will call. Give, give us, us a call. call. They, okay. they do change from time so to time. So call the church. Call the church, and it will be posted on our church website also. Okay, it's a church There's website. There's a special take a vet fishing section, section on there. Section on it. First Congregational Church. Yeah. Well, that's just great. And, and I, volunteers and contributions are welcome and needed. <laughs> Great. I want to thank the two of you very much for just a delightful program today, teaching me a lot. Well, um, we even though I don't know, uh, I'll definitely be out soon. there when I figure out the nicest Saturday in uh, there, it's coming always, up. Weather's always, always nice. good. Yeah. Okay, good. I want to put in a plug before we end for BCTV itself because uh, we need volunteers and money too. And, um, this is In Touch with Brantford, uh, but to contact BCTV, our number here is 203-481- Three two three two, and you can um, check out our website, uh, which is wonderful, www.brantfordtv.org, and um, see opportunities to volunteer here. See our schedule, board of directors, all kinds of information um, you can catch on your computer. So um, again, thank you, Thanks thank you very us. much, thank you all for joining us today. It was a great program. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.